What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to unbox your DJI drone. In my case, I just got the Phantom 4 Pro. I'm very excited about it and I also recommend you get insurance or DJI Care Refresh and I'm going to show you how to activate it in the video coming up. After you buy your drone, I recommend you buy DJI Care Refresh. Now DJI Care Refresh is insurance for your drone. It lasts up to 12 months for up to two crashes. So if anything happens to your drone, DJI will fix it for you or they'll give you an entirely new drone. So if you crash it into water, into a wall, as long as you retrieve the drone, if it's not lost or stolen, they will fix it or replace it for you for up to 12 months. Now you have up to two fixes or two replacements during that 12 month period. Also note that for each fix or replacement, there is a small deductible. However, it's well worth the money because if you damage the gimbal or other parts of the drone, it's gonna be very expensive for you to get it fixed. And you're gonna save a lot of money, hassle and stress by getting the DJI Care Refresh. So one thing to know, before we unbox this drone, there is a serial number on the side. So make sure you cut that out if you throw away the box. If you keep the box, it's no problem, but make sure you hold on to that serial number. All right, so let's open it up. And there we are. All righty. So this is the Phantom 4 Pro. You can buy other cases. However, the nice thing about this case it has a nice little handle on here to carry around. I could also jerry-rig some straps here to turn it into a backpack if you want to save some money. Or you could get a OBGC case, a Pelican case, or a nice DJI or Manfrotto backpack. It has this little tab right here that I just open up, turn, and there is my drone. So now let's go above to take a look at each part of the Phantom 4 Pro. All right, so we have the Phantom 4 Pro here, the actual drone. All right, we can take that out, and as we can see, all right, we have that here. Comes with a battery inside it right here. Okay. As of the date of this video, these are some of the most powerful batteries that DJI makes and they're quite expensive. We have the controller right over here. Okay, the controller comes... This is the screen right here. Coding. is actually hard to take off. All right, I just gotta rip it, I guess. All right, this is the controller, and as you can see, it has this part here which folds down when you store it, and when you bring it up, you can just use this for a iPad or any other larger device. And if your phone doesn't quite fit in, you could always adjust it with these little things on the side. Just pull it up like that and then you can just move this down and put your phone right in there. Okay. So that's the controller. One thing to note with the DJI controllers, they're all pretty much the same. This goes, this makes it turn left, this makes it turn right, this goes up, this goes down, over here, this makes it go forward, this makes it go backwards, this makes it go to the left, and this makes it go to the right. This is your return to home button, and you, ask, you have all your flight modes right here. You can control the gimbal as well. So it's got a lot of nice buttons on it that make it really easy to use. During my first flight video, I'll go over all of these buttons on the controller as well as some of the functions in the application. 
So then we also have these propellers, okay? They come in a nice little case. One thing to note about these propellers, it's very subtle, but if you look closely, you can see it, is that some have this little silver around it and some have this black around it. And over here on the actual drone, when you're putting on the propellers, this silver goes with this white one, okay? And this one over here that's black goes with this one because it's got these little black dots. So all the DJI drones, you'll notice the propellers are color coded. Usually they're either like a white circle around here or a black circle. So you, you match the black with the black and the white with the white. Or in this case, the black with the black and the silver with the white. Okay, so in this case, I have a total of eight propellers. Oops. Then over here we have our charger. So this charges the batteries and so this is the battery charger which you also need the other part. Okay, so there's always two parts to the battery charger. This is the adapter cord that you have for the battery charger for plugging it in. And this charger will, will work internationally. It will work all over the planet, all right? It's made in China, but it will work anywhere. So you don't have to worry about 120, 220 voltage. It will work anywhere, okay? And you just plug it in right there, all right? And then make sure you always charge your batteries fully before flying. One thing to note, that on the back of the Phantom 4 batteries, it has this connection right here. So that goes in with this connection right here. So you can just plug that in. Plug this into an outlet, and then you can start charging your battery. One little pro tip, Never leave your battery fully charged or all the way drained when storing it. So if you're gonna not use your drone for a week or longer, it's good practice to leave your battery at about 30 to 50%. In here, we have, of course, the owner's manual right here, the Phantom 4 Pro. And you have the Phantom 4 Pro right here. Things to know before you fly. More information about flying safely. DJI Refresh Care. All right, tells you about that. We're gonna do that shortly. And remember the DJI Refresh Care tells you here you only have 48 hours to activate it after you start your drone up. Okay, so there we go. All right, so that is your quick start guide and all your pamphlet information right there. But you don't need this, guys. You got me, so you don't have to use this. The last little thing over here, we have an OTG cable. Now the OTG cable is great because you can use this with the DJI goggles, okay, when you're goggling. You can plug it in the back right here and then you can connect this to another device, okay? That's one option. This other cable, it's great for doing the firmware updates. It's great for doing firmware updates with DJI Go Assist 2. So you just put that in there, all right? And you can go like this. You can connect this to the goggles or you could just connect, because this has a micro USB port right there and right there. Or I can take this out and I can just use this. I can plug this in here and now when I do 
my firmware update with DJI Assistant 2, it's very easy. And now I can plug this in right here and I can do the firmware update for my controller. All right guys, so now let's activate the drone and then add our DJI Care Refresh. One more thing, it's always good to get an extra battery. In this case, I have a Phantom 4 Pro battery. So if you have a smaller drone, you might need three or four batteries. In this case, I have two batteries. I probably need three batteries, but I have two for now. With the Phantom 4 Pro, you could use either battery, the Obsidian or the normal white battery. I just got another white battery because I have a white drone. And there we are. Now I have two batteries. Remember guys to always update the firmware on your drone, the controller, and your batteries. All right guys, so once you've unboxed everything, the next step to do is to charge the batteries. So I'm gonna take out these batteries, all right? And I am going to grab my charger over here. One way to test it, you'll see they usually come about half charged, okay? Because that's how you should store it, about halfway or maybe like a third of the way. So you can press the button on the battery to see that. See that it's, when I press the button on the battery, I can see it's only half or about a third of the way charged, which is how you should store your batteries for a long period of time. I am going to get this end of the cable right here. Okay, not the outlet, but the other end. And I'm going to plug it into the battery here. Okay, now that I have that plugged in, I'm gonna charge this battery. Now I could buy a battery charging hub to charge multiple batteries, up to three batteries. However, I only have two batteries, so I'm gonna use this. As you can see, when the battery's charging, it's going to light up like this, okay? In addition to the battery, you're also gonna have to charge your remote. So with the Phantom 4 Pro, it has a little knob on the side right here, which I just turn and it opens. And you can just open it right there. Okay, so with that little knob, what I do is I take, okay, from the charger, there is also this little cord. So I can just plug this little cord in here and voila, my controller is now charging. While that's charging, let's look at the actual drone. One thing on the back of the Phantom 4 is this little foam part. So it's good to remove that once you get the item. So you never wanna fly with this on. This, can, this little piece right here can damage the gimbal. You can put it in there when traveling, however, you don't really need it, and once you buy the drone, you can just get this and throw it out. As you can see on this little piece, it says remove before flight. So you can hold on to this piece, but you really don't need it because it has the gimbal holder right here. While my batteries are charging, I'm gonna open the DJI Care Refresh. Now one thing to note, when you buy it in the store, it's gonna say on the side, which drone it is. So you could buy a DJI Refresh Care thing like this in a drone store, in a DJI uh, retail store. However, you have to check on the back. It has to say your particular drone. So for this drone, it costs $149 for this DJI Refresh Care. For other drones like the Mavic Air, it's only gonna cost $89. All right, so I'm gonna open up the Refresh Care. Okay, and inside you'll see this little card. Okay, so you just take it out uh, right here. Okay, so in the front of this card, it should say your drone, which it says Phantom 4 Pro here, 
and it says one year okay there's also the DGI refresh care refresh plus and that's for your second year so this is for the first year up to two accidents and the DGI care plus is for the second year and it's for one accident now the DGI care Refresh obviously is more expensive because it covers two accidents. And there's a password that you scratch that off. You need that password to activate your DJI Refresh Care. I'm gonna show you how to put in all this information for the DJI Care Refresh once we have our batteries controller charged and we update our firmware. All right guys, one thing to know, while I'm charging my batteries, okay, I have this charger right here. I'm only charging my battery. You, you can plug this into the controller, which I'm gonna do. However, you don't wanna charge the controller and the battery. Even though you're able to do it, you can damage the inside of the controller, the battery. You don't wanna do it. So just charge one at a time. I know it's gonna take more time. If you don't have a lot of time and you need to charge your batteries much quicker, just get a charging hub that charges up to three batteries. All right guys, so now that we charged our batteries and they're fully charged, okay, we're gonna charge our controller. The controller has a little port right here that you can open up and you charge it right there. So we just take our charger right here and we plug it in right there like that. And now it starts charging. Remember, you don't want to charge the controller and the battery simultaneously. You want to charge them each individually because you could damage either unit. All right, guys, so once you have everything charged up, I have my Phantom 4 battery charged here. I have this battery charged just in case I need an extra battery. And I also have my controller charged. You can check to make sure they're charged just by pressing it once. All right, press it once and you can see everything's fully charged right I can just press on that once and as you can see the lights are on so I know it's fully charged what we want to do next we're gonna use our phone or device but before we do that there's some little pieces here that I didn't take off so these little plastic things you can just take off all the protective covering this is on the sensors on the side so I'm gonna just take that off because I don't need that All right. I could also take off these warning labels here, basically saying, make sure you have the right propellers on, make sure you have them tight um, so they don't fall off in mid-flight and your drone crashes, right? Or if you have the wrong propellers on, it could do all sorts of crazy stuff and crash. So that's kind of obvious, so I know that, so I'm just gonna take that off. I don't need that warning, all right? Also, it makes the drone look better because when you have these little stickers on, it looks kind of funny. Uh, the gimbal cover right here as well. The next thing you can do is you can actually take off this gimbal protector. So I'm gonna, this gimbal cover, you just undo that because when you activate your drone and turn it on, you don't wanna turn it on with this on ever, okay? So that could be dangerous and you could basically ruin the gimbal, all right? Because when it moves around, if it won't be able to move around with this on, uh, you could do damage. So now we have all our protective covers off. All right, little protective covers. And inside, right there, if you just click on that, you look at the drone, if you just click on the side, you'll see that the Phantom 4 Pro comes with this little micro USB card, okay? So, goes in there upside down, by the way. Okay, so it's a 16 gigabyte card. That'll give you about, I'd say like one minute for each, one gig for each minute of flight time, maybe a little less. So that'll give you anywhere from like 10 to 16, 10 to 15 minutes of flight time with that card. However, you're gonna need the card just to do your firmware updates. It's good to have a card in with some free space. So we're gonna leave that in for now. Okay guys, so now we're gonna activate our drone. First thing we wanna do is take our cord to our phone or device, plug it in, okay, so this end, and then I take the other end, the USB end, and it could be also a micro USB, but in this case it's a USB, 
And as you can see in the back of the controller, there is a USB port. I'm just plugging the USB cable in right there. All right, so now we got that plugged in. Okay, so now we have our phone or device connected to our controller for, via this cable. So the next thing we wanna do is just turn this on. So what we do is we just press this once and then press it again and hold it and it goes on, okay? The other thing we wanna do is we wanna take our drone and where the battery is, you're gonna press the same thing. You press everything with DJI, basically you press once and then you press it again and hold it. So I'm gonna press it once and then I'm gonna press it again and hold it. All right, and now the, makes that little sound, goes on, okay. As you can see, I'll show you the, Going right here. And they'll start blinking all these different colors, basically like Christmas colors, green and red. So make sure you have the battery charged fully on your drone when doing this. And also make sure you have your battery fully charged on your controller. If you don't have it already, you can go into the app store. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the app store, you're gonna find type in DJI Go 4. And once you have that app, you're going to open it up, okay? All right. And inconsistent firmware. We're gonna cancel that. We're gonna press we're gonna update the firmware, but we're gonna do that with our computer. The first thing we're gonna do is activate. We've removed all the guards and things like that, so we're gonna press next. All right, and then it's gonna ask us to terms of use, which we have to click okay and agree to that. Okay, so then we're gonna press agree. Okay, the name of my aircraft is going to be Air Jordan because it's gonna really take flight. Air Horden, all right, I spelled it wrong. Because my big thumbs. So I call my aircraft Air Jordan, all right. I'm gonna press continue. And it's gonna ask you for different modes. I would go the recommended two mode, that's the standard mode that sets up basically your controllers down here, which way you want to fly. And you could always change that in the app, but I would go with mode two. That's just the easiest one to go fly with. So we're going to click mode two. Then we're going to do, we can customize the buttons on our controller. Let's just leave these for now the way they are. We can change these once we get into the app. Okay. All right, so it's going to ask you for imperial or metric. All right, so, well, we live in the United States, so we're not metric, right? We have to go with imperial. All right, anywhere outside the U.S., you could go with metric. All right, continue. Going to ask you if you want to fly in beginner mode. We don't want to fly in beginner mode, so we're going to take that off. Beginner mode basically allows you to fly 98 feet or 30 meters from the point where you take off, either 98 feet high or across. We don't want that 98 foot bubble, so we're gonna take that off because we feel confident flying. If you feel like you need it, you can leave it on. Okay, have my email there. If you haven't done so, you can set up an account here. I've already set up an account. So once it confirms your account, you can then just press down here, activate. Okay, DJI Refresh Care. We can do the DJI Refresh Care later when we update our firmware. 
okay, on our computer. So let's just press continue. All right, so there we go. It says Phantom 4 Pro successfully activated. This asks you if you want to fly a flight simulator or go to the academy. If you want to do that, you can do that. However, I feel like I'm a good pilot, so I can just click out of that. I can skip. It's always going to tell you if you have the latest firmware or if you need new firmware. So there is new firmware to update on this. All right, guys, now that we activated our drone, what we're going to do is we're going to add DJI Refresh Care on our computer. And then also on our computer, we're going to take DJI Assistant 2 with this cable and we're going to download the latest firmware. I recommend you download your firmware via a computer rather than your phone because it's going to be more secure connection. And if it fails, it's going to take a long time and you might have to redo it. Sometimes if it gets caught in during an update, it can screw up your drone to the point where you have to send it back to DJI. That's a rare occasion. However, it's much more secure with this cable connected to your computer rather than your phone in the DJI Go app. Okay, so we're gonna move the drone to the side and the controller to the side for now. And we're gonna open up our computer. All right guys, remember, we're gonna take our DJI Care Refresh and we're gonna activate that right now on our computer. I've included all the website links in the description below this video. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to activation code right here and then you're gonna put in your activation code. The activation code should be that 16 digit number which is on the back of the card, it's the password. So wherever you see the password, you're gonna type in that 16 digit number. So after you put in that 16 digit number, all right, you're gonna to go to the next one. You're gonna to have to put in your serial number. So the serial number can usually be found on the inside of the drone, okay? It's in various spots depending on which drone you have. Okay, so for the Mavic Pro, it's on the inside right here. And we go down, we have the Phantom 4, which if you take out the battery, it's on the inside right here. Then with the Phantom 3 series, it's going to be right here, all right, next to the battery. And <clears throat> it's also going to be right here, okay. And then for the Inspire 1, it's going to be on the actual gimbal right here. And also for the Inspire 1, it's going to be in the back near, on the, near the battery right here. And for the Inspire 2, it's going to be right below the battery right here. And for the Zen Muse X4S and X5S, it's going to be here. Okay, so depending on which drone you have, you have to enter your serial number and you might also have to enter the serial number of your gimbal as well. So when you successfully activate your DJI Care Refresh, you're going to come to a page like this. Now, just as a quick review, you can buy the DJI Care Refresh in a store in a box like I did or you can buy it in the app or online and you'll go to this page. The link to this page is in the video description below. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now update the firmware on the drone and on the controller and on the battery, all right? So i rather do this on the computer than do it with DJI GO 4, okay? It's gonna be more secure with this cable, the USB cable and micro USB that came with the drone. So we're gonna use this cable. First thing we do is we connect the USB, take the USB end, and we just plug it into our computer, okay? So once you have that plugged into your computer like that, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you have the propellers off. You never wanna do firmware updates with the propellers on, so make sure they're off. Make sure your batteries are all fully charged, okay? Powering on the drone, okay? And then you're gonna notice on the side, there's going to be a little micro USB port here, okay? 
right there. That's where we're going to put this micro USB cable in to connect it with the computer. Okay. We're going to have to jump on our computer. So let's jump on our computer. We're going to go to DG, DJI.com and then we're going to go to consumer and then down to Phantom 4 Pro. You can find your own drone. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go down to downloads and you're going to click if you're a Mac user, you're going to use this. Okay. If you are a PC Android user, you're going to use this one. Okay. Since I have an Apple laptop, I'm going to do this one. As you can see, it was updated on March 3rd, 2018. So we're going to click on, and that's going to download it for us. You'll get this screen pop up. So then you'll press continue, continue. You agree to the license, and it's going to be 97. All right, so select where you want it to be. I want it to be on my hard drive. I guess I don't have much choice. All right, um, that's fine. I'll just leave it on my hard drive. Change the install location. No, I'm going to keep going. All right, so install. Install software, it's going to configure and write the files. Installation was successful, so I can press close. All right, I'm going to show you how to update your firmware in DJI Assistant 2, which is a more secure way of updating your firmware. You can also update your firmware in the DJI Go app, which I'm going to show you after I show you how to do it on DJI Assistant 2. So let's do it first on our computer with DJI Assistant 2 and then we're going to go into the app to update our firmware. Remember, you don't have to update the firmware in both places. I'm just showing you both ways so that you know how to do it. All right, so you're going to be in the app. You're going to press login. You're going to type in your email and log in. All right, then you're going to click on your drone then you're going to click on firmware update then you're going to go to upgrade and then you're going to press on start update and then the firmware is going to start uploading all right it may take a while could take 15 minutes could take 20 minutes just be patient also never disconnect or turn off your drone or anything during a firmware update. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how to download it in the app DJI Go 4, okay? So instead, what you can do is you can take your drone, okay? Take your controller, okay? Now you can turn them both on, okay? Okay, so the other way to update it is to use an OTG cable. So you take this and you just hook it in like this to the USB. And now you have a micro USB here that you can plug into your drone on the side. Okay, so I'm going to plug that into the Phantom 4 Pro right there. Okay. Then I'm going to open up the DJI Go 4 app. And then I'm going to inconsistent firmware. So it's a slide to update. Okay. And it says now it's updating right there as you can see. All right. Remember, you always want to have your batteries fully charged when updating the firmware. This sometimes can take anywhere from 20, 30, even 45 minutes. All right, now while it's updating, your drone will like turn off. It'll make sounds like that. So it may change colors like it is now. All right, so it says update complete. Okay. New firmware is available. Download that now. 
All right, so I'm going to click on that. Download that now. All right, so there's yet more firmware. So remember, there's firmware to do with the battery, with the drone, with the controller. So you have to update all of this. So that's why it can take a while. So basically, I'm just going to leave it like that and just keep updating my firmware. After you're done, you can then turn your drone off. All right. And then you can tr turn the controller off. You can disconnect your cord. What you can do now is you can connect your device to the controller, which is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to turn it upside down and just plug this in. Okay, like that. So I'm going to connect it to the controller. And now the controller is connected to the device. I can put my phone in here like this. I'm just take this, put my phone in. And as you can see, my phone just connects like that. And now I can turn on first the controller and then the drone. And I'm going to exit out of the app. I'm going to start up the app again. Since they're both connected, they're both they're both charged. What I can do is now I can go into the app again. So I'll click on DJI Go. And all right, so hold on. Let me just why is it upside down? So I'll just click on this like that. Okay normal latest firmware okay if i was going to fly it could calibrate my compass or my imu they both say normal so it looks like i'm good okay obviously i can't take off here right now i'm pretty much all ready to fly so that's going to be end of our setup all right guys i hope this was helpful for setting up your dji drone whether it's a phantom ford pro or any other DJI drone, they're all very similar to set up. Stay tuned next week where I will show you my first flight. Each week I'm gonna add more tutorials, tips, and flying advice with the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. If you haven't done so, don't forget to press that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can get more videos like this. Also, add a comment below, press that like button. If you know someone who likes drones, photography, tell them about my channel. Until next time, siempre para adelante, nunca para atrás.